Okay, so what we're going to focus on now is we're going to focus on uh, multiplying a binomial to a trinomial. We're going to have 6x negative 2x. Now, if you were to describe this, it would be kind of complex. Like, if you were to describe it like in a real life situation, these ones would be like the difference of you worked uh, six hours last week and you got paid this amount of money for that many hours and then this week you got paid you worked two hours and you got paid X amount of money for for this week so you would find the the, the difference between it the difference between last week and this week that's what the negative is the difference between the hours that you worked and the money that you got multiplied by the hours of this week and last week six hours multiplied by the money two hours multiplied by this money this week last week that's what basically would a basic description would it be is you would uh, um, basically find uh, the, the the difference of how much you worked And uh, you would multiply, and you would, uh, what we're going to do, since this one is kind of long, plus 2xy squared negative Thank God it's short. Four. So what you would do is you would multiply this whole thing because really what you think what you're looking at is two whole numbers. They may look like a complex equation, but actually this trinomial is one number. If you were to find what the variable of x and y were, you would you know put them to the second power. And multiply them and then add and then subtract and you would have one number the same thing with this one when you find the difference of these two things for the hours that you worked this is just an example hours six hours you worked six hours last week for for X amount of money then you would find a difference between the two hours you worked this week multiplied by X amount of money which is usually constant because they're both the same variable anyways you find the difference between the hours that you worked but that's a that's a description for right now. And this one would be uh, I'll probably describe that a little bit later. I can't think of anything right now. I want to show you just how to do it. What you would do is you would get this and multiply each term singularly in the trinomial. The binomial itself as a whole would be multiplied singularly to each term in the trinomial this big thing with these small things and I will show you erase let's see okay so that would equal to the sum and difference of 3x to the third power 6 multiplied by x to the third power negative 2x to the third to the third power plus 12 x to second second power multiplied by y negative 4 x to second power y to the second power 2 negative 24 x plus eight x now this is this is a plus sign this right here is a plus sign 
so you you multiply this whole thing with these things and you get this so what we're looking at is they have to combine like terms x this right here are like terms the reason why is because the x is raised to the third power this x raised to the third power the the coefficients don't matter what matters is when you're combining like terms adding and subtracting is when the the variables have the same exponents and then you would subtract these things but you would combine this exponent into one thing so in this case you would have 6 take away from 2 which would equal uh, 4 4 raised 4 multiplied by 3 to the third power this bottom part right here is uh, both like terms because it has x just like this one as long as the two numbers are both the same or if they don't have no numbers as long as they're both the same we're able to add or subtract the coefficient from each other and I'll show you that right now okay so you have real fast you would have 4 x to the third power plus 12 x second power y by itself negative 4 x squared y squared and finally 16 x that will be your end result you added the first term remember how this one was in two separate terms the difference you found the difference it's 4 multiplied by x to the third power this one and this one 12 and 4 12 multiplied by x to the second power multiplied by y and 4 multiplied by x to the second power y to the second power are not like terms if y was raised to the second power then you're able to subtract or find the difference between 4 and 12 and then keep those variables the same to combine them the same but since they're not the same and y is 0 and though and they're both different the exponents are different you can combine them only this one and the last one like I explained before I erased it the first two terms and the last two terms were combined which equals 16 X and 4 multiplied by X to the third power and that's what you get and basically like I said uh, you know I'll try to describe in more detailed term how you would use it in real life situations you could use math in real life situations. this whole thing right here could describe a real life situation of money how much you got paid you know this could be how much you got paid and added from the week that you worked last month or something and plus the multiplied by the tips or whatever or uh, you know just just description I can't really think of anything now uh, you, you would find the sum of this subtract from whatever else from 4 and 16 and you would find the total that's just an example, which I'm probably might be uh, wrong, but that's kind of like what it is. Um, but uh, again, um, this is basically just helping myself out to learn mathematics more and to venture into more complex realms. Thank you very much.